Welcome back to Music with Mr. Wright, everyone. Today, we're going back to the Old West. Woohoo! All right, going back to the old days. And I want to start today by showing you what some consider a musical sound, and that is a train whistle. You want to watch for this train to come and watch the sound it makes. Here we go. All right, here it comes. the many sounds of a train, specifically a steam engine train. And uh, that is the sound of the Old West that you would have heard. The, ch -ch 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 -ch, the sound of the steam escaping out and pushing the strain, uh, train forward. The sound of those woo woo, that's the sound of the steam going through and powering those whistles. And uh, in fact, I li once lived only, uh, I think a block and a half from a train that sounded just like that. And it loved to go through uh, at two in the morning, delivering goods. Woo hoo hoo! All right. Uh, I wanted to get you show you one other train because it has a nice steady beat with that sound. Let's see if I can pull that up today. Here we go. Nope, nope, that's not the one. Here we go. Nope, nope, this is the one. Here we go. That sound is going to become important. We're going to do a song later this class period that uses some of those sounds. And actually, the sounds of the train have been used for dozens, maybe hundreds of songs have used the sounds of trains and incorporated it into their message. All right. Well, we're going to go old school today. We're going to pretend we're back from the Old West. We're not pulling up any websites today to look at things. We're just kind of going to show you some old school flashcards and you tell me what it is. Okay, let's start with something hopefully you know well. All right, how about that there? What is that? That is a treble clef, right? Or sometimes we call it a G clef. Looks like a fancy cursive G. So um, this part right here circles around the G note on the music staff. Um, so the treble clef. How about this one? That's the bass clef, isn't it? It's also called the F clef. Between the two dots is the F note if we had it on the music staff together, when we go like that, they are called the grand staff, the grand staff. And so there we go. Good job. Let's name a few notes. Let's start with the bass clef. Uh, remember the spaces in the bass clef, the spaces which are between the lines. We have four spaces here. They're A, C, E, G, all cows eat grass. Okay, so that one would be all cows E, don't they? So that's an E. All right. Let's keep going here. How about that one? That's the second space. That's a C. All right. Next one. All right. That's the third line. And remember the lines, great big dogs fight ants or good burritos don't fall apart. Either of those sentences are great. So this is the third line. What would that be? That's a D. Good. So it's a flashcard. Flashcards usually have the answer on back. And not only does it show, it shows you the name of the note on the staff, there it is a D, and also where it is on the, uh, on the piano note as well, on the piano keyboard. All right, how about this one, the fourth space? All cows eat, what do all cows eat? Grass, isn't it? So that would be a G, good. Just below that, fourth line, that's an F, F, good. How about this, the first space? Mm, cows eat grass. How many cows eat grass? All of them, all of them. So that would be an A. Excellent, good. How about this, just above that? The space was A, we just had the A. It's right above that, remember it's alphabetical, not A, but this would be B, B as in boy. Good, all right, keep going. First line. 
That's a G. That's a G. Excellent. Good. Oh my goodness. Mr. Wright, I didn't know we could go below the line. Yes, we can. We actually have notes that are below the staff and notes that are above the staff. We call those, um, well, those are extra notes and, and eventually we'll add lines. We call them ledger lines. So this one, the, the line was G, wasn't it? So it's just below that in the alphabet. So this one is an F, an F. That was a G, that's an F. How about this one? That's an A. Excellent, all cows eat, I'm sorry, good, good burritos don't fall apart or great big dogs bite ants, yeah. All right, how about that one? Wait a minute, wait a minute, miss, that's above the staff. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, so the line was A, and so that is the next letter in the alphabet. So it's a B, B, A, B. All right, and oh my goodness, we've added an extra line. We call that a ledger line when we put it above the staff. So this was an A, B, and that would be everybody, C. See how that works, A, B, C, there you go, there you go. And that's a special note, it's actually middle C, middle C. We're gonna come back to that in just a moment. Let's go on to treble clef. Now treble clef, you remember the spaces, there's four spaces they spell. I do that crazy thing with my hand, face, face, the space spell face, F-A-C-E. Um, the lines, E, G, B, D, F, every good body does fine or every good boy does fine, or every girl, and if you use the A from the space, and boy does fine. So this would be a, a D note, wouldn't it? Good. How about this one? Remember that word. Second letter, A, good. Next one. Fourth space, E, good. Just above that, Last this was an E, we said, so this is a E, F, good. If you said F, you are correct. Good, next one. Oh my goodness, we win, we are above the staff. If that was an F, then this must be a G, F, G, yeah. All right, let's continue. Second line, That that's a G. Wait a minute, Mr. Wright, that was a G. How can those, can that be a G? And that a G? Yes, absolutely, they're both Gs. They're just an octave apart. One is an octave higher. This one is an octave higher than this note here, okay? All right, moving on. This one, third letter of this word. So that's a C, awesome. How about this one just below it? That's a B, B as in boy. Uh-huh, just got a few more. F, F, good. E, good, E. Oh my goodness, it's underneath the, the line again. Okay, so that was an E. Let's work backwards in the alphabet. E, that's below it, so it would be a D. E, D. Whoa, we added a line, didn't we? So if this was a D, E, D, what would that one be? A C, C, and that is, so that's actually middle C. Let's look at that again. E, D, C, C, good. And it's a special note because it's actually middle C, middle C. Let's see if I still have it from my other notes, yes. Here's bass clef middle C, and here's treble clef middle C. And remember, the bass clef and treble clef are above and below each other in line, so look at that. That is actually the same note there, both middle C. Here it is, here's middle C in the treble clef, and here's middle C in the bass clef. So there's actually a pretend line, a line, and it's not a pretend, it's, it's there, it's just invisible, we don't normally see it. But that middle C is the line between the treble and the bass clef, there you go, middle C. That's that very important note. All right, good job doing some flashcards. Let's name some kinds of notes today. All right, what kind of note is that? That's a whole note, usually it takes four beats. How about that one? That's a half note, 
it usually takes two beats. How about that one? That's a quarter note, and it usually takes uh, one beat. Oh, two of those combined, those are two eighth notes, aren't they? Together, the, both of them combined, they're stemmed together, and both of them combined are one beat. How about that one? We haven't seen that one before, Mr. Wright. You're right, we haven't. There's our eighth notes. There's an eighth note, but just one by itself. When you just have one of them, you have a flag on it. There's one eighth note. Here's two eighth notes stemmed together, and that's one eighth note. But the same kind, they actually sound, these sound exactly the same. It's just when we have a single one, it looks like that. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, what's that fancy thing? You've seen that before. Quarter note rest, that's a shh for one beat. Okay, now we get to some shh, but extra notes. Um, this one is called a whole note rest. This one's a half note rest. Boy, they look a lot alike, don't they? I always remember that the whole note rest is underneath the eyes, or it's an upside down hat. The half note looks like a hat. The whole rest looks like an upside down hat. Or if you think of like a hockey puck on the ice, those who like hockey, I like to watch hockey. Um, Here's the hockey puck in the ice, and here's the hockey puck on the ice. I think of the half nose as a little lighter, and so it's like up above the ice. That's just the way it works in my weird brain. So do whatever works for you. So half note half. Okay. Oh, what what are these? Two, four, three, four, four. What do we call those? Those are time signatures, aren't we? Those tell us the feel of the music. Two, four, three, four, four, four. Those are time signatures. Good job with that, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to do a little sing-along, and we can't have, a, can't have a sing-along without a campfire. So let's get our campfire started, shall we? All right. Um, here we go. Going to go, let's get our fire started. I know I've got it here. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's our fire. And let's light it, shall we? Let's light that. Oh, yeah. Can you feel the heat? Can you feel that? Let's sing a few songs around the campfire. In the old days, they might use a guitar. They may use a harmonica. I couldn't find my harmonica today, but this sounds like a harmonica. All right, so maybe they do that. Maybe they clap along with the beat. Maybe they would um, sing along. Maybe they'd have some instruments, maybe a violin. You know, maybe uh, maybe they'd have a guitar. There certainly were guitars back then. It's certainly something you could keep on your horse um, if you wanted to, or put it in the wagon, that would go with you. All right, so we're gonna sing some songs from the Old West. We're gonna start off with a uh, one called Home on the Range. I think you know this. Oh, give me a home. Where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, skies are not cloudy all day. You should try that with me. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the sky Let's do another one. 
We're going to do a silly song next. Um, yeah, we've had silly songs throughout the centuries. This one's called She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain When She Comes. A lot of silly, silly lyrics on this one. Okay? All right. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. The yee-haw if you want it to come around the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw! You can do that if you want, little hand motions if you want. Each verse has little signs, hand motions if you like. Okay, have some fun. Here we go. She'll be coming. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw! different verses and what does it mean I don't know Woo, whatever you wanted to so this is a funny one she'll be eating purple pizza when she comes ooh yuck she'll be eating purple pizza when she comes ooh yuck she'll be eating purple pizza she'll be eating purple pizza she'll be eating purple pizza when she comes Let's try that first verse again. She'll be coming. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Alright, good job. And listen, you can make up your own crazy verse if you want. It's one of those songs. Alright. Okay, um, I've been working on the railroad. That's the one that went. Ch -ch 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 yeah. Can you hear our railroad? Woo! Woo! The sound of the whistle. Singing feet 
our train go slower, and then it's going to go faster as we go. They change it. I've been working on the railroad all the live long days. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. And you should hear the captain coming. Rise up so early in the morning. And you should hear the captain shout. We got time for one more. This is not a song from the Old West, but is a Western song and definitely is in the idea of singing out in the Old West and country. This one's called Take Me Home Country Roads. Mm -hmm. Pulling up my, my lyrics so Mr. Wright remembers all the words. Almost heaven. Yes, West Virginia. There we go. Almost heaven, West Virginia, the rich mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, blowing like a breeze, country roads take me home. joining us. Thank you for having a little sing-along by our campfire. Now that the weather's turned, I hope you enjoy this. Stay warm, everyone, as our seasons change here. Have a great day and take care of each other. We'll see you next time on Music with Mr. Wright.